Alright, hey guys, it's me, Emery, and I'm damn near five weeks on testosterone. Um, in like four and a half weeks. Okay, so changes thus far. My voice, in my opinion, in the last like week or so, has changed a lot. I don't know. When I'm done recording this, I'll hear it and I'll know. But it feels like it. It feels thicker and deeper and, um, yeah, so that's really exciting. Something that's even more exciting is I woke up this morning and I'm washing my face and whatnot, and I look in the mirror, and I have like a decent patch. I like I'm gonna say like the size of my finger, my fingernail, but you can't see it because my computer's lame. But like right here, nice little patch of like dark hairs that are coming in, and you can kind of see them on the other side and a few under here. So facial hair is coming slowly. Not really slowly, actually. It's like that's me and Jacob were talking. Like, I feel like all my changes are, are coming like way, way fast. Um, but there's a lot of like reasons for that. It could be anything. So, um, yeah. So that's what that's what's up. Um, I haven't really worked out at all. So, and I stopped taking my supplements. Not my, well, yeah, pretty much all my supplements except for like my multivitamin and my fat burners, um, which. I should probably stop taking because I'm not really working out and it sits bad on your stomach. So, um, yeah. So my my weight's pretty much leveled out. It's been the oh sorry, it's been the same um, since last time when I was 16 days. So it's really pretty much chilling at that. Um, I've what else, dude? What else? Oh, I dyed my hair and I went to the hospital yesterday yeah. because. Jacob decided to become deathly ill, <laughs> and um, his friend Ashley was like, get up and get dressed, you're going to the hospital. So we went to the hospital, and we chilled there for a while, and there was this, like, I don't know, it freaked me out because lately, like, my, my life has pretty much been completely indulged and surrounded by the LGBT community nonstop for, like, the last month. So I pretty much... I've been used to that. I've been used to the comfort of everybody using the right pronouns and seeing me as male and all that other stuff. Um, and then you go out in public and you're at somewhere like the hospital or like, you know, someplace that you're not really around anybody besides, you know, my friend Jacob. Like, it was weird because they kept coming in and they weren't sure because his name's Jacob legally, but his gender marker's not changed yet. And they kept coming in and like, wait, are you a girl or a boy? So, I'm assuming by the, your, because he passes, like, hella good, like, the guy came in and was like, uh, I'm assuming by your voice and the way you look that, and your name, that you're male, right? And then, like, the whole, well, I'm trans, but I haven't had surgery yet, like, all that shit had to go into play. And it was really awkward for me, and, you know, like, I don't pass near as good as him, because when I'm next to him, my voice seems like, oh, really high, and whatnot. <laughs> so, um... The nurse came in, we were talking about my hair, and she used female pronouns, and I attempted to correct her, but I don't think she heard me, and, and no, it just freaked me out, it just made me realize, wow, like, this is the real world, and like, if stuff ever goes down, like, you have to go to the hospital, or anything with your insurance, or I don't know, like, anything like that, like, this, this is always going to be an issue, like, even if your gender markers changed, I'm pretty sure, because he said they have to go with the one that you're born with, and... Like, so it's like, even after your gender marker changed, like, are you still going to have to be struggling to be identified as male? And, I don't know, it freaked me out, tweaked me out a little bit, um, I wasn't completely, you know, comfortable, I guess you could say, but it's chill, and he's not deathly ill anymore, he's up and about and went to class today. He's going to make a video later, so check him out at BONES, in all capitals, D and then DGAF in all capitals zero two that's his username and I said it really slow zero two one and I said it really slow so you guys should be able to go out into the world and watch his YouTube videos okay um what else has changed not a lot um my my man downstairs seems to be a, a little bit more um I don't know he grew up a little bit yeah. And he's like, he went from like pre-K to kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. I have a new cell, um, so if you just so happen to have my number, which I seriously doubt, and it's the 417 area code, that is no longer my phone, 
Um, I have a new phone number and message me and I'll give you my new one. Um, all right. Later, guys. Oh, and tell me what you think about my hair. Because it's supposed to be like fire truck red. And it looks kind of actually pretty red in the um, video. But it's because we didn't have red. I ended up getting like a stupid like sunburst auburn color and attempted to make it red. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. And then I'm going to get my hair cut and it's going to be awesome. All right, you guys. Later.